Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. I don't have any news to bring you today. I know that the FNCS majors were going on this weekend, so hopefully some of you were able to check that out. Um, I haven't been able to check any of it out or see any results or anything, uh, but, you know, I really do like this new format uh, that they are doing for the FNCS and the fact that it's all leading somewhere uh, is pretty exciting. So I I will be checking it out at at some point. Uh, But let's go ahead and uh, we can dive into uh, looking at some of the LTMs to play right now. Again, just not a fan of this new uh, Discover page. Like a million different things on here and smaller and it doesn't make it feel really like... Just doesn't, you know, it it, it just doesn't really feel like uh, it, it's making me check any more of these out. It's just, uh, for me, it's a little bit too much... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, where you're, you're uh, paralyzed by... Uh, too many choices that's basically what I feel like I'm like oh man I just wish they would um, you know make these you know previews bigger for one (laughs) so that they looked a little bit more important and and just just a little bit less and just maybe rotated them even more frequently because uh, there's so many here I don't even know what to pick Uh, if I were going to play some of these myself. But we got stuff like Frost Survival, Spider-Verse Free-For-All, Mega Easy Parkour, High School Prop Hunt, 1v1 with any gun, Modern Mansion Gun Game, and uh, what's this? Uh, Up and Coming, huh? Okay, so we got Rick and Morty Free-For-All, Uncharted Free-For-All, King Bob, (laughs) <laughs> red versus blue and oh there's a whole lot more to be discovered in that discover tab obviously because there's like a million things on the discover page now uh let's go ahead take a look at these weekly class i think the only one we have left to talk about is the hit headshots uh and this one goes in stages and obviously the greatest place to do this is in team rumble <laughs> because you could just hit headshots all day in there if you get eliminated you don't have to worry about waiting to respawn into your next match or you know you don't have to worry about getting sent back to the lobby and then having to wait to start your next match you will just respawn right after you get eliminated and be able to start hitting more headshots on your opponents right away uh let's head on over to that item shop now and see what we have in the item shop today okay here we go we have yep okay so of course all of our valentine's day themed stuff still here all of our icon series are still here uh the kid Leroy items are still here dragon ball as well and then today we have the renegade outfit for 800 the king crab outfit with back scoop back bling for 1200 the flint striker harvesting tool for 500 the Make It Rain emote for 500. The Gun Show emote for 200. The IO Attack music for 200. Uh, let's see here. We got the first Fighters bundle. Which one is this one? The Squad Origins. Oh yeah, this is the one where they're they're wearing jumpsuits, and then you can select a chapter. Um, looks like it's chapter one season one through season one through ten you select uh whatever season from chapter one and then your um your jumpsuit will become uh that theme so this is actually a pretty cool bundle this the, the bundle actually actually comes with the gang is all here loading screen as well and the bundle is 2800 which is 3200 off the total and so you get all of the character models for that one and then same thing you know that's same for females and males um you can get them each separately for 1200 uh and then they have the uh season signature back bling which is 400 and again once again you are just selecting different um seasons and depending on the season you pick it changes the theme of the back bling 
Uh, we got the Edge Factor uh, bundle, which has the Hedron Outfit, Edge Case Back Bling, ISO Outfit, Exploding Axis Back Bling, Pick Axis Harvesting Tool, and the Multi Point Edge Glider for 2300 The Hedron Outfit with Edge Case Back Bling itself is 1500 The ISO Outfit with the Exploding Axis Back Bling is 1500 The Pick Axis Harvesting Tool is 800 The Multi Point Edge Glider is 800 uh, we have the Eternal Struggle Bundle, which has the Arc Outfit, Arc Wings Back Bling, Virtue Harvesting Tool, Evil Eye Harvesting Tool, Divine Wrap, the Malcor Outfit, Malcor Wings Back Bling. Uh, and this is all for a total of 3,000, which is 3,000 off the total. And separately, the Arc Outfit with Arc Wings Back Bling is 2,000. The Divine Wrap is 500. The Virtue Harvesting Tool is 800. The Malcor Outfit with Malcor Wings Back Bling is 1,500. The Evil Eye Harvesting Tool is 1,200. And that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop. And some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. And the item of the day today is an easy one for me to pick out. I mean, everybody loved this one. There was controversy when it first came back to the item shop. Everybody knows it's the Renegade outfit. You know, it does look great. Uh, you know, to me, in the beginning of Fortnite, uh, these were some of the outfits I was the biggest fan of. The outfits that, um, you know, were just reskins of the, the base, you know, default models. Uh, I, I always like, I like a lot of those ones the best, uh, you know, just your base models, just wearing a little bit different looking outfits. Um, yeah, but, but, you know, that's, that's a fan favorite. It was, uh, again, you know, there's the controversy over if they were going to ever put it back in the item shop, people didn't want them to put it back in the item shop because you know the og people <laughs> wanted to keep their uh outfit more rare i could because i myself i don't believe i actually ever bought anything from fortnite until season four um you know i, I went without buying any battle passes i went without buying anything from the item shop up until season four and i only got the uh battle pass for that because at that time the podcast was getting so popular i had so many people uh listening to the show that i felt like ah, i should get the battle pass and kind of uh you know talk about all the items in the battle pass uh since you know people love that uh that's how i first you know started buying things from fortnite in the first place uh, so i missed out on a lot of this stuff in the beginning even though i was uh playing uh before i started buying stuff uh but yeah there you go that's the uh item shop and that's going to be the episode for today so make sure you go join the daily fortnite discord and hang out with us follow me over on twitch twitter and youtube head over to apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review for a shout out on the show and we actually got a couple of those today and with one of these i'm going to give you a tip of the day <laughs> so some this one is from foot cnu with the five star that says great but good pod only problem is that there is no tip of the day like advertised so a couple of things i gotta address i don't advertise anything right so there's nothing advertised uh I, you know this you're probably talking about in the show description <laughs> that it talks about a tip of the day uh and uh you know uh and i i i have addressed this recently because you know we're over 1700 episodes into the show now and uh you know if you l listen to the first i don't know hundreds and hundreds you may be the for probably the first uh thousand episodes or more have uh tips of the day in them i feel like the game uh has gotten so far ahead of me and the game's been around for so long it, it's hard to go back and just go over like the basic stuff right um i will say that it seems like there's a lot more new things being added and things that could innovate fortnite or uh, you know you know that are innovating what's happening in fortnite so we we might be getting back to those a little bit uh more regular and especially whenever there's new items or new features that's when we're definitely going to do uh tips of the day 
Uh, and because I've gotten some more time to play lately, uh, you know, I, I, I do have a tip for you today. Um, so we got this new augment, right? And the augment is um, the Rift Jector. And if you use it, the once your shield gets cracked, you get put into or a, a rift uh, automatically happens and it's basically like a rift to go, right? And it, so it, off, it automatically goes off when your shield is broke. Uh, but if you're going uh, against somebody who has this, you should know that you can use that, that rift. You can use that portal. So that could be very, very handy uh, when you need to get somewhere far and fast. Uh, say, you know, what's one thing a professional Fort play, Fortnite player is uh, going to tell you about fighting in the storm? Don't do it. They're going to tell you that it's the dumbest thing to do, right? Uh, but now... Uh, you know, in pubs, because I don't believe the Rift Jector is in a competitive, if I remember that right. But if you're playing in pubs and you are out in the storm, it is worth it to trade some shots uh, at somebody in the storm if you have a long way to go. Because you don't know, they potentially have uh, the Rift Jector on them, right? And in a competitive game, Right? Normally, you would just do your best to avoid that other person. That Even though you see that other person in the storm, you're going to avoid fighting with them because uh, you might just end up both trading shots at each other, taking damage, and then not even make it out of the storm and die anyways, which is not going to get you further, either of you further, into the game. So it's just kind of known that, hey, uh, if you're in the storm, don't fight in the storm because nobody <laughs> benefits from that. Uh but now, in pubs, with the Rift Jector, you can try to quickly uh, crack the shield of somebody. And if that Rift Jector goes off, you could jump into their Rift uh, and then use that to get you to the next circle uh, quickly. All right, so there's a tip of the day for you. So hopefully, uh, we'll have uh, more new items just coming out more often uh, as we have in the past in Fortnite, so we have stuff to give you tips like that with. Uh, we have another one, uh, five stars. It says, great job, great podcast with good mic, clean, and a calm environment. Build the community. Hey, thank you. That one is from Kyoto. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And with that, that will be the episode. So, until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.